After electrotransfer of our proteins to a membrane, we will now block the blot, apply a primary antibody specific for our protein of interest, and then a secondary antibody which will recognize the primary antibody. Start by removing the membrane from the cassette and rinsing three times in water. As an optional step, we can verify the proteins were transferred successfully by staining the membrane with Ponso Red. Incubate the membrane in Ponso for five minutes and wash with water until the bands are clear. After verification, the blot can then be destained by continuing to wash with water or TBS tween until the dye is completely removed. We need to block all areas of the blot which do not already contain protein. This will prevent nonspecific binding of the antibodies and reduce overall background signal. Common block and buffers include 5% nonfat dry milk, or BSA, in a TBS tween solution. However, do not use milk when probing with phospho-specific antibodies as it can cause high background from its endogenous phosphoprotein, casein. Incubate the membrane with blocking solution for one hour at room temperature under slight agitation. Decant the blocking solution and wash with TBS tween for five minutes. We are now ready to add our antibody. Dilute the primary antibody in a blocking buffer at the concentration recommended on the data sheet. And incubate overnight at four degrees Celsius with gentle shaking. A recommended optional step is to also use a positive loading control antibody, which allows the user to verify equal amounts of total protein were loaded into each well and aids in troubleshooting by removing any uncertainties with the Western blot procedure. The next day, decant off the primary antibody and wash the membrane with large volumes of TBS tween and vigorous agitation five times for five minutes each. These stringent washes are extremely important for reducing nonspecific background signals. After washing, dilute the secondary antibody in blocking solution and incubate the membrane for one hour at room temperature at the concentration recommended on the data sheet. In our example, the secondary is also conjugated to HRP for later detection. Decant secondary and wash the membrane with large volumes of TBS tween and vigorous agitation five times for five minutes each. You are now ready for the detection phase. 